In the last five years, in a resounding chorus, Amhara voices, ranging from parliamentarians to everyday civilians, diaspora members, activists, academics, and journalists have relentlessly implored Abiy to address and confront the recurring Amhara atrocities and shield civilians. Sadly, his responses have carved a disheartening pattern, evading responsibility, belittling the seriousness of the situation, and, alarmingly, drawing inappropriate parallels like comparing it to U.S. gun violence. During a parliamentary session, when asked about civilian atrocities in Oromia and the need for protection, Abiy responded, Don't listen to those who say we shouldn't plant trees while people are dying. We should plant trees. At least the deceased will have shade. We can't deploy the army to protect every village. With a population of 100 million, having 100,000 troops shouldn't be surprising. In the last six months in Los Angeles County, 224 people died. Philadelphia had 245 deaths. DC had 104, New York 197, and Chicago 300 deaths. Overall, in the last six months, thousands have died in America. In Addis Ababa has large of number of Oromo haters. They hate Oromo, but they want to live in Ethiopia. His response, characterized by indifference and a stark absence of empathy, was profoundly shocking in light of the atrocities committed against innocent civilians, including pregnant women, suffered gruesome deaths. Instead of offering condolences and solace, his remarks were steeped in contempt and heartlessness, further deepening the pain and anguish of Amharas. These responses have fueled suspicions within the Amhara community, raising questions about Abi's possible complicity in these horrifying acts. His apparent indifference towards human life has left people profoundly puzzled. Responsibility for these unimaginable atrocities squarely rests on Abi Ahmed, accused of neglecting his duty to uphold the rule of law and turning a blind eye to these horrific events. The parliamentarian from Abi's party in the Oromia branch publicly accused members of his own party within the Oromo regional government of involvement in atrocities. However, no one has been held accountable and there have been no investigations into these allegations. Abi's inflammatory and hate-filled public speeches targeting Amharas and residents of Addis Ababa have undeniably fueled further tensions and divisions. We have an extremely urgent matter that requires Parliament's attention. Could you please spare a minute? You are not allowed to talk. Shut down the mic. Amhara representatives were prevented from expressing their concerns about atrocities against civilians, with the House Speaker appointed by Abi suppressing their voices. After five years of patience, Amharas felt compelled to resort to armed struggle as they saw no other recourse.